How to make an apple martini. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We've come to Zeta Bar at the Park Lane Hilton in London. Head bartender Maro Pisano is going to show us how to make a vodka based apple martini. Step 1. You will need one green apple, 50 millilitres, which is approximately two fluid ounces of vodka, 25 millilitres, which is approximately one fluid ounce of apple juice. 10 millilitres, or 2 teaspoons of apple schnapps, 5 millilitres, or 1 teaspoon of gom sugar, and some ice cubes. Here's that list again. You'll also need the following utensils. A chopping board, a knife, a muddle, which is like a pestle, a cocktail shaker, Marrow uses a Boston shaker, which is a metallic shaker with a mixing glass that also acts as a lid. A cocktail strainer. A fine strainer. A martini glass. To measure out the ingredients, Marrow is going to use a standard single shot measure like this, which is equivalent to 25 millilitres, or approximately one fluid ounce, and a standard double shot measure, which is equivalent to 50 millilitres, or approximately two fluid ounces. If you don't have these, you could use a measuring jug or measuring spoons. Marrow will also use a standard bar spoon, which is equivalent to 5 millilitres or an ordinary teaspoon. Step 2. Apple. Take one quarter and then carefully remove the skin. Now dice it and drop it into the mixing glass. Step 3. Apple juice. Add 25 millilitres or one fluid ounce of apple juice. Step four, muddle. Muddling is a cocktail term for crushing fresh ingredients like fruit and herbs to release their flavour. Step five, vodka. Add 50 millilitres or two fluid ounces of vodka. Step six, schnapps. Then add 10 millilitres or 2 teaspoons of apple schnapps. Step 7. Sugar gum. Now add 5 millilitres or 1 teaspoon of sugar gum. Step 8. Ice. Fill the mixing glass with ice. Step 9. Shake. An apple martini needs to be shaken hard so that it doesn't end up being too thick. Put the top half of the cocktail shaker on, slap it down firmly to seal, hold the top and bottom, stand at an angle, and shake vigorously over your shoulder for about 20 seconds. Handy hint. When there is condensation on the outside of the shaker and it feels very cold, it's mixed. Step 10. Release. Turn the shaker upside down with the glass or smaller half on top. Tap the bottom half to loosen the two. Release the glass by rocking it back and forth. Step 11. Double strain. Now double strain the cocktail into the frozen martini glass. Use the strainer over the shaker and the fine strainer over the martini glass. Step 12. Garnish. Add a slice of apple to garnish. And serve. Done.